There are a lot of things that you need to know about news coming out. What type of news you should and shouldn't be trading and overall how news may affect the market. I'm gonna show you guys how to find certain news events that you probably shouldn't be trading and news events that are pretty much fine to be trading. Before we do that, I wanna tell you guys a story. There was this one time that I was trading news and I had my stop loss set to where I would lose $500. Now there's this thing slippage where if news comes out, and it hits your stop loss, it may not take you out of the trade with the exact stop loss that you have in mind. This is what happened. One time I had a stop loss set and I was trading news CPI, blew past my stop loss, and I lost $2,000 instead of $500 simply by trading when there was news. So even if there's news and you have a stop loss, you may not get your stop loss hit. Also, before we go into this juicy information, I break down everything. If you guys want to speak to me, and get to know me and see exactly how I can help you all trading, click the link in the description and let's book a phone call. I think my one-on-one -on -one mentorship would be perfect for you. Now, without further ado, let's get into this information. All right, guys, the best way to figure out when the news is gonna come out and where the news is gonna come out is forexfactory.com. If you are new to trading, make sure you bookmark this website because it is major. There's the technical side of trading where we're actually looking at the chart and finding support and resistance and the trends. And then we have the fundamental side of trading news, um, politics, events going on in the world. And there was an Ariana Grande concert a couple years back and they had the bombing in the concert or something like that. And I remember when that bombing happened, it actually affected the GBP greatly. So a lot of events like that, the elections, they are going to have a major effect on the markets because we are talking about financial markets here. If you're trading Forex, indices, the things that are happening in the world are also going to have an effect on the currencies or the pairs that we trade. So this is what a lot of people do with trading. They simply trade like when there's news going on. But I'm going to do this with you guys. This is the plan. I'm going to show you how to read the news. Then what I'm going to do is show you how to back test the news so you can see the outcome of that news that previously happened. And then I'm going to show you guys a new strategy that is pretty cool if you guys want to test it out. 100% you can't, but it's a really cool strategy, honestly. So the first thing that you guys need to understand is we have all these dates right here. We have the time that the news comes out, the currency, and then the impact. If you guys go to this filter box right here, you can turn on only the high impact news which is the red folder. We have medium impact news, the orange, or we have low impact news, then we have none, okay? So realistically, I only have the red box checked. And with me, the only pairs that I'm trading nowadays, I'm back to trading US 30, by the way, guys, let's go, are US 30, which is indice, and then NAS 100. These are the two indexes that I'm trading. So with me specifically, all I need is a US dollar for the currency. I'm not trading AUD, USD, or CAD, but hypothetically, let's say that all you trade is AUD, USD. I would only have AUD marked up and USD right here. And then let's say you only trade USD, CAD, have CAD and USD. So you can see exactly when the news is for the US dollar and then the CAD, because if you're trading a pair like USD, CAD right here, we have the US dollar in it, but we also have the Canadian CAD, which is very important, okay? So I only have the impacted news at high impact. All the event types are cool with me. I want to see when they're coming out. And for currencies, I only have USD. Once you do that, click apply filter. And it'll save for the next time that you come. And you can see I have all these news events coming out or that have came out previously. So if we go back right here, we can actually see when the previous news events happened. So the date is September 22nd, Friday, today we had a flash manufacturing PMI. But let's say that we want to look at this news event FOMC right here. We can go and we can see the last time that we had that news and then we're going to go to the chart and actually see the impact. So we have all the dates that they came out and then the specific time. Now what we want to do is go and look. So it says 2 p.m. I think that's EST. So what I'm going to do is go to the hour chart. I find the best way to do this is go to the hour chart. So Let's first go to the hour chart, and then it came out Wednesday, September 20th at 11 a.m., and then let's go to the 20th right here, right here. Okay, so check this out. 
we can see right here this candle, this big long candle right here that dropped 1500 pips. That's when the news came out. These times right here, this is not, it's three hours ahead of me. This is the EST time zone. I'm on PST. So this news comes out 2 p.m. EST, but it was 11 a.m. Um, PST. So we can see this is where that news was when it came out for FOMC. So we could see, okay, it had a really big impact. And what you could do is collect data. You can get a Google spreadsheet and write down the news event, the date that it came out, maybe how many pips that it dropped within one hour. You can get very technical about this information. That's what you guys should be documenting. Like I actually have documentation of all the trades that I'm taking with my EA, my trading bot. If you guys want that, link in the description. But I have all this data. So this is where you guys should be getting extremely technical and get the data so you know, okay, when this news effect comes out, I don't think that I'm going to trade just because it has such a major impact on the market. So there's the first way that we can like see when the news was and when it came out and we could back test it. Let's go to like another one. I want to show you guys another news event. So let's go to unemployment claims, September 7th at 5.30 a.m. 7th right here. Boom, so we can see since, so it came out at 5.30, what I wanna do is go to the 30 minute time frame or a time frame under because the other news event came out at 11 a.m. So we could see like that whole hour, but this is at 5.30. So if we're on the hour time frame, we can't really see where 5.30 is in between here. So let's go to the minute 15 actually. September 7th. 5.30 a.m. Okay, so we can see, boom, spot on. So the news, it looks like this is where you guys can get super freaking technical and figure out, all right, the news will, it only had a major impact for this news event for 15 minutes. But like FOMC, it had an impact for a whole hour. So we can get a ton of data just by looking at different time frames as well. So we have, this is the time right here that the news came out because after this candle closes, it's 5.30. So from 5.30 to 5.45, we can see that unemployment news came out and the market dropped, let's say from the WIC, it did a 665 pip move, which is pretty decent for NAS 100. That'd be double for like US 30. So we could see, okay, well this news has been on NAS 100, it moved 665 pips. Let's go to US 30 and see how it affected the market. September 7th, Thursday, 5.30. Here we are right here. Okay, so we can see the news. So on US 30, let's see how big of a push it had down. It looked like for two 15-minute candles, 30 minutes, it had a nice drop to the downside. So it moved 788 pips from the open of this candle to the close of the second candle right there. Not bad. So this is how you guys are going to be able to back test the news and figure out, okay, well, which news event is going to have the biggest effect and which news event should I maybe stay away from? So it looks like unemployment claims doesn't have that big of an effect on the markets as FOMC does. And actually, I want to go see FOMC for Wednesday 20th, 11 a.m. for US 30. So let's go to the 20th right here, 11 a.m. All right, right here, so after this candle closed, boom, here's that one, so dink, shot down, and we can see that it pushed down a total of 1,400 pips. So if you were in that and you caught that move all the way from the high to the close, like that's a 1,400 pip move right there you could have caught. So you guys are probably wondering, Colt, what's this strategy that you're talking about? And let me actually go back to FOMC and I'll show you guys. So let's go to the replay bar, boom. So I have used this strategy before, it works very well. Hypothetically, after this candle closes, it's F1C. What you wanna do with this strategy is figure out, okay, when is that news event gonna come? And you wanna show it five minutes before. And what you simply wanna do is you wanna look at like the range and the movements, but overall what you wanna do is put a buy stop and a sell stop above the previous support and resistance, or the previous high or low within the range. So right here, we could see we would put like a buy stop right here. Then we would put a sell stop right here. 
just above this candle's high and low because the next candle, when the news comes out, you guys could see a second ago, they either push up very heavily or pushes down very heavily. So what we want to do is we want to be trading when our news is going to come out and get the movement. Because if the news comes out, it's going to push it very heavy, activate our buy stop and keep going up. Or it's going to come down, hit our sell stop and go down. So the way that I set these positions up is I'll have my long position right here and I'll have my stop loss right at the entry of that one. And then what I'll do is I'll have my sell stop right here with the stop loss at the buy stop center. And whatever one gets activated, I'll go for the next one. So usually I just go for like one to one, something like that, thousand, thousand. Okay, thousand, thousand, right in there. Boom. And then what we could do is we could play this back. So we can see our sell stop is activated hit. That is the strategy. All you're doing is a buy stop and a sell stop. Whatever one gets hit, you delete the other that didn't get activated. Go and get some profits. And you can do this with a lot of pairs, but this isn't like a definite strategy. I'd kind of similar similar similarize this. <laughs> I can't even talk. I'd kind of similarize this if that's even a word, guys. Um, this is more similar to like a gambling strategy, like a martingale or something. So. This isn't like 100% accurate, but hey, you can have some fun with the test now. Maybe you guys could get some really good results with this, but this is what I wanted to show you in the video. Hope you guys got some value. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out, guys.